Hello everybody, Bryos here and today I have for you yet again another Centurion video. In my previous video, I featured the Centurion D with a dual fast firing LB5s with that insane 52% cooldown for those LBs. But for you guys today, I have another fun Centurion. And if you recognize this pattern, this you recognize as the Yen Lo Wang, the judge of the dead, the emperor of the dead, depends on how you interpret those Mandarin words. But this is the hero mech for the Centurion. Not only does it have a very unique pattern, which you know can be controversial because you know Rising Sun, World War II, but whatever. It also gives you a 30% C build bonus. And I'll put it straight out there that honestly, I think the Centurion is more fun. I had more fun in this than the Centurion D, and it performed better than the Centurion D. So like I said in the previous video, Centurions, my friends, are great again. And that's thanks to the first set of quirk passes that came for some mechs, and the Centurion benefited from that August patch. Previously, it was really power creep, and there was honestly no real reason to take a Centurion over many other medium mechs like the Vapor Eagle and the Wolverine, just to cite few. And let's take a look at the build, straight down to the build. So the Yen Lo Wang doesn't have many hard points, it has two ballistic hard points in the right arm and two in the center torso. Um, I'm running a UX 20 in the right arm and a snub nose PPC in the center torso, pretty common. But if you watch Phil's video on this, in Phil being from NGNG TV, he put an AC20 and I can't remember the center torso. There are many, many ways to do this. But I'm opting for the UX 20 with 5 tons of ammunition and a snub nose PPC for that burst damage in the CT. And all this with a XL265 engine for a speed of 85.6.9 point nine actually. And this, the Centurion, is actually a good mech because it's able to twist fast and that makes it kind of XL friendly. So it's also good for training your defensive gameplay, twisting to present your left arm to soak in the damage from the return fire. But as I was saying, the Yen Lo Wang is a really good mech. And if you notice, I actually changed the name. Um, the Yen Lo Wang was my very first hero mech. So in my, well, newbie enthusiasm, I changed the name. I stopped doing that. I got bored of doing that. But anyway, let's take a look at the quirks for the Yen Lo Wang. So what makes the Yen Lo Wang great again is actually the quirks, or rather are the quirks. Uh, with the UX 20, I get a UX jam chance of 20%, a ballistic range boost of 10%, and a cooldown boost of 15%, allowing its main weapon to fire fast, jam less, and do lots of damage. 40 damage per burst. Uh, if you use an AC 20, like Phil in his video, he uses an AC 20 and that has an additional cooldown of 10%. Both are legit, it's just a matter of whether you want to go for burst, high damage, high risk, or pinpoint reliable, a bit fast firing. Yep, depends on what you like. Um, the center torso, I'm using a snub nose PPC, and that benefits from a heat reduction of 15%. By the way, the AC also benefits from a 15% heat reduction. And with being an energy weapon, the snub nose PPC has a net cooldown of 25%. So it fires really, really fast. So if you UX jams on my build, you can actually still use the snub nose PPC. And all both weapons benefit from a velocity increase of 10%. So these are really well thought out quirks, making this mech really, really deadly. And it's a fast moving, blasty blasty kind of mech which we like that kind of gameplay and defensively it really needs all these quirks by the way it has torso armor quirks of 18 for each side to uh, side to side torso and the uh, 22 for the center torso arms and legs get some bonuses and that's always nice so let's get down to the skills so what makes this mech good is the ability to run and gun and because of that, I'm putting 46 SPC into firepower. Normally for the skill tree, we go from left to right. Only an idiot goes from right to left. So anyway, starting with the firepower, because that's more important than consumables, I'm putting it 46 into firepower. Because its main weapon is the UAC 20, which jams, I'm going for two nodes of UAC jam reduction, time duration, whatever you call it. So 15% reduction in the jam duration, which is good. And by the way, with the Snubnose PPC, you can actually still do damage when your gun is jammed. You can increase your defensive gameplay, more shielding, more hiding behind cover, while you wait for it to unjam. And even though it has 5 tons of ammunition, because of the UX jam chance and the cooldown quirks, you actually can run off ammo pretty fast, even in quick play. So 2 nodes of magazine capacity to increase that. And a whole bunch of other things come in. I'm using 11.25% reduction in cooldown, so it fires even faster. Heat reduction of 10.5, and even though it only has a ballistic uh, and a snub nose with a 15% heat reduction quirk, uh, it still overheats because everything fires fast. And with all these short range weapons, even though you can close in on the enemy, I am getting 11% range boost, which actually really helps. 6% velocity, just a bit to boost the 10%, so the weapon, the ballistics and the snub nose go 
a total of 16% velocity boost, which is kind of sweet. As for survivability, I'm actually going for the left side for more armor. That's because of all the armor quirks, it stacks. So 16% armor bonus helps with all the armor. Giving it, uh, as you can see, 95 in a CT, front loaded of course, and 71 in a side torsos. Pretty substantial. And for mobility, because it's a fast running gun, it kind of suits my gameplay, I'm going 16 SPs in the right torso. I know many people wouldn't put mobility, um, they'd rather put it in survival. This is just a personal playstyle kind of thing. I just like to move in and out of cover much faster. So that, of course, gives me XLD cell turn rate of 10.5, 14, and 24%. For operations, I'm only going for three nodes of cool run. That gives me 11 SPs, and it's kind of sufficient. And that's because I have, well, one cool shot, and to boost it, I have two strikes for additional damage. Because you might want to use the strikes not only to do damage, but to shield yourself as you retreat. And yeah, by the way, consumables are not mandatory. They are useful, but actually, spending 5 SPs for just 2 strikes might not be worth it. But I like it, it's a personal playstyle kind of thing. Up to you. So anyway, that's it. That's the Centurion Yenlo Wang. Really bright, but sometimes you just want to play bright max. But anyway, let's get down to the gameplay and I'll show you that this Centurion is actually superior in terms of damage to the Centurion D that I posted earlier. But it also depends on your playstyle. Either way, they're all great again. So let's get down to the gameplay and I'll show you the Emperor of Death in action. Let's go. And for the first showcase match, we find ourselves on the enhanced HPG Manifold map. And this is a pretty popular map. And I do like this version over the previous one. There's almost no NASCAR in this map. And by the way, the key to winning this map is actually not the walls. Yes, the walls are strong. Yeah, you got to neutralize the snipers on the wall or go up and snipe. But the key to winning this map is supremacy in the central four grids where there's lots of cover. And to do that, one must send in mechs to fight and brawl. And that's what this mech is. The Yendo Wang is a great brawler. Um, having great mobility, good burst damage from the UX-20 and the snub nose. And with the ability to quickly twist your torso, you can also present your left arm to absorb return fire. And yeah. As a result, it's deadly, but it's also a good mech to train your gameplay. And talking about gameplay, um, I do stream on Twitch just to let you guys know. And this match was streamed live on Twitch. So even though I like the game, I like the mechs. Oh, the mechs are so sexy. Um, but I also like the community. If not for the community, guys, if not for you guys out there, I would have quit the game years back. But you guys keep me going. And that's what this game is all about. So do drop by my Twitch channel. Link is in the description below. And yeah, let's and all have some fun together. And talking about fun, in this match, I'm dropping in a four-man together with Scott, Crazy Boys, and Boom Chicken. And yeah, so let's get down to the action. So this is a semi-nice place to brawl. They normally come up this ramp and on the other side. You can actually get stuck here, this spot here. Gotta be really careful. Target acquired. Target spotted. Shadowhawk. They're normally around this corner. New there they are. Acquired. Itchy, itchy. Oh, jam again. One shot, New it jams. Spotted. Acquired. Target spotted. At least that didn't jam. Cataphract, Delta 4, and a Hellfire. Artillery strike online. Artillery strike activated. Oh. New target acquired. Watch out for India. Delta 5, guys. Delta 5. Acquired. That's like a blood ass build. Oh, I missed! Target acquired. Target acquired. Bushwhacker, Delta Phi in trouble. Target spotted. Thunderbolt CT, Juliet. It's open. I repeat, close in Delta Phi. Target spotted. Got him. Who is shooting? Cataphrag is leg. New target acquired. Target spotted. Crazy move up a bit. Target spotted. 
Get him, get him. Jam. Target destroyed. Nice one, Jenna. New target acquired. Timber, Bravo, left leg. Oh, I missed! Right between the legs. No, go away, go away. Bravo, left leg. Bravo, please. Right leg now. Hit echo. Keep moving. Alpha. Alpha, I repeat. Shit. Jam again. Stay up. Echo 5, Delta. Target acquired. New target acquired. PPC adder, Fox 4. Let's move towards Fox 4. Ender, would you like to join us? Thank you. For golf city, Fox Four spotted. My arm, my arm, my arm is caught. I have 15 rounds. Come back, target spotted. Baby, come back. Oh, I missed. Target destroyed. New target acquired. That's a bad shot. All right, let's prepare for a basement push. They're all there. I'm caught in the center, so I don't think I can. New it's okay, you can acquired. follow me if you're behind me. Target spotted. New target acquired. Okay, they are there. Target spotted. New target acquired. Delta Viper, flee is lovely. Can they spot him? Hello? No Ender. No. Target acquired. It's six. Crazy that this side. This side is too hot. New target acquired. Go for Delta. Right to also Viper. Come crazy. Good work, right, Delta. No, no problem. Go ahead. Oh! Damn it. Damn it. Target destroyed. Damn it. New target Echo 6. Acquired. Thank you. CT. Go SDF, go. Okay. Switch off hit vision so I can see. Yeah, I got no more ammo. But I did enough damage. Target spotted. Target Good. Target destroyed. Yep. Nice. Well Thank you. Last one somewhere. I'm gonna go to the base. Did anybody get the flea? Yeah, I killed the flea. Okay, thank you. Echo 4, seriously. Unless there's more than one. What's the last one, Zelios? Oh, terrain. All this terrain slows me down. Oh, scrap metal. It's scrap metal. Probably an atlas. Look out for a stealth atlas or something. Don't really have much firepower left though. One snub nose is all I have. Yeah, it's him. Scrap metal. Since he's still alive, it's either a stealth raven or a stealth atlas that is black in color. Crazy, he's still got ammo. I have no armor in the chest, it's cherry red, but sights also have. Alright, you can follow me. Okay, fire from Echo 5. Target acquired. Target spotted. See? My weapons didn't fire. What? I missed. Target destroyed. 
Yep, well done. So there was some violent brawling action. Me and Crazy Boys working together in a nice two-man centurion hit squad. And yep, I ran out of UAC ammo, as expected. The five tons runs out really fast if we survive. And survive I did, 909 damage, four kills and a great match score of 649. So let's move on to the next match. So as you could see from the previous match, this mech is a killer. Once you get into brawling range, you're able to smash the enemy with the fast firing, low jamming UX20 with the snub nose PPC. Yes, you do jam once in a while, but it's a bit of give and take. You benefit from the 40 damage from burst and a consequence of possibly jamming at the wrong time. But either way, we have a fast firing 25% cooldown snub nose PPC in the center torso. Uh, one thing about this build, is being an all brawlers in fact it's a bit of a problem getting in so i'm always positioning myself around teammates waiting for a chance to enter the brawls and that's one of the key skills for brawlers and talking about teammates this match was also streamed live on twitch so this was recorded as i streamed um and i'm also dropping the same four men scott's crazy boys and boom chicken so let's get down to the combat on forest colony game of this incursion not that we care about the base so let's go i actually prefer this side let's go this side Learn both hit towards golf eight. New target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted. Who is this, Scott? Come on. New target acquired. New target acquired. Target spotted. They're mainly in golf six. Artillery strike online. New target acquired. There's an Atlas Hotel. New target acquired. Here's a friend, Bravo. Those are the CDU guys. Oh, it has to jam, right? Work on the Alice's please. Target spotted. New target acquired. They are rotating. Yeah, they're coming to Hotel 7. Yeah, just defend Hotel 7. Please don't follow me. Defend Hotel 7. Assault to Hotel 7. New target acquired. Hotel 7? It's too nail for goodness sake, and all these are learn boats. New target acquired. I'm worried that the guys in the rear are learn boats. We already two nail down. We really traded badly. Target spotted. New target Watch out for the Marauder 2s in our rear. I'm stuck in terrain. Alright. Hotel is one shot at this. Learn echo, please. Dayaku is here. New target. All the lerms. Target spotted. You got crazy here though. New target. We haven't ever killed a single person. New target. Timber left also. Oh, there's Kilo. Got me one. At twenty five percent. New target acquired. Minimal Coming damage. Okay. New target Echo? acquired. New target acquired. Crazy. Let's go. Follow me. Echoes one shot. 
One five though. Target Not the best team. Juliet right also. Left shot in the world to play. Juliet. Yeah. Turning around, defending both children. Jam. Why jam? I'm actually running out of ammo. Same here. Drillet left also. Let's push him. He will have another friend. Yeah, let's push him. Better than doing nothing. Six rounds left. Kilo is caught and the total. Zermin. I can't. Jung out. Don't stop. Hey, blocking me. If I had more ammo, if I had more ammo, if I had more ammo, if I had more ammo. Third time I'll say this or fourth time if I had more ammo. Damn it. He's fresh. Go away. Go away, Black Lena. Oh, I missed. I know there's a medium here. Oh! Oh! What a random shot that kill. Oh, I can't handle all these people. Now! Damn it. Build if pretty gets me. 880, 4 kills, 810, 811, that's it. Yep, 811. Oh, so that was a really intense match as you could hear. And ultimately, even though we lost 8-12, this was, this was a really fun match. Um, but to be honest, I thought the rest of the team was kind of passive. Um, I suppose they did something in the rear, but they left us to fight in the front line and they stood behind us around Hotel 7 and most of the engagement. As a result, with the enemy having two Atlases, two Marauder 4 HPs, all these chunky boys pushing forward, they were a big problem for us. And as a result, I ran out of ammunition and just couldn't carry. But it is what it is, everybody tried their best. Congratulations to the enemy team. So anyway, here it is, 4 kills, 880 damage. I took a lot of damage, 500 over damage in the medium is impressive. Nice match score of 6, 5, 7, very very decent. So ladies and gents, that's it for this video on the Emperor of Death, the Yanlo Wang. And the Centurion is a perfect example of what the quirk passes are meant to do all these changes the past few months also. And that's to make all mechs legit again. Because Centurion's privacy were a pretty sad case of a mech that were power creep too much. But anyway, let's hope more fun things come and till then guys, stay salt free and I'll see you on the battlefield. Ciao.